More Black Ops 6 leaks have been released recently and now we have a good idea as to how many weapons we will have in multiplayer for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 and what they are going to be. So today I will be going over the leaked weapons for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 and keep in mind that with this being a leak it means that some of these may not be true and may not be in Black Ops 6 and there also may be some weapons we don't know about yet and if this list ends up being true it means that we will have the most launch weapons we have ever seen in a Call of Duty game with Black Ops 6 and by the way credit to the leak goes to Vondius Pog on Twitter, I'll leave his link in the description. The last game to break the record with the most weapons in a multiplayer game was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 back in 2022, and despite that being a pretty bad multiplayer experience, it did have a lot to offer in the camo grind by having 51 weapons at launch. According to this Black Ops 6 leaks, we are going to have 54 weapons at launch, which could potentially make for an awesome camo grind this year. So let me know in the comments what guns you want to see in Black Ops 6. Let's Let's go ahead and look at the leaked weapons for Black Ops 6 and I'll try to put some real life weapon visuals in the video so you guys can see what they will potentially look like. So starting off with the ARs, we have the K-Stop 74, which is pretty much our AK-47. We have the F-TAC Light. We have the Krig C. We have the M-16, the M-4S, the R-2, the SA-87, the SR-8, and the VAP-9, which is the beloved AS Valve back from Modern Warfare 2019. Next up for the SMGs, we have the AMR-9, which we just had an MW3. It's probably going to be similar to that. We have the FMG-9, which is actually going to be closer to the PP-90 Bison weapon we've seen in the past, and it's not going to be like the FMG-9s we had back in the OG MW3, which was a machine pistol secondary. Then we have the k stop m We have the Lockman Sub, which is going to be the MP5. We have the MD-97L, the Raptor 9, the VAP-2, the VAP-3, and the VCAR. Moving on down to Marksman Rifles, we have one called the Cameras, the CAMRS. I don't know what that is going to be like. Then we have the K-Stop 97, which is going to be kind of the Marksman Rifle version of the AK. We have the Liana 550. We have the Mark 18, which is going to be kind of the Marksman Rifle version of the M16. The Tempest Torrent, which we saw back in MW2 2022, and the VAP-M. Moving on down to the Battle Rifles, we have the C-50A, which we we saw this back in Black Ops Cold War, so that will be familiar. We have the K-Stop 73, which is going to be the AK battle rifle. We have the Leanna 57, and we have the TAC-F, which is the beloved FAL. The last time we saw the FAL was back in Modern Warfare 2019, but it's been a beloved weapon in many games before that. Moving on down to the snipe rifles, we have the K-Stop M, which is essentially going to be the Dragunov. That was a beloved weapon back from the original Black Ops. Then we have the LW3 Tundra. We saw this back in Black Ops Cold War. It's also very similar to the L96A1 from Black Ops 1. We have the Ratio H and then we have the Ratio P. Moving on down to the LMGs, we have the IP545, we have the LRC308, we have the Saw H, and then we have the Saw L. Moving on down to the shotguns, we have the M500, which is going to be a Mossberg 500. We have an OCP 500, which is going to be the Bullpop Mossberg 500. Then we have the Olympia returning. We have the Roku 360, which is going to be similar to the USAS-12 we saw back in the OG MW3 in 2011. And then we have one called the Super Short, which its real life counterpart is similar to the Remington 11 shotgun. Moving on down to the pistols, we have the Dianoli, which is pretty much going to be the Beretta. And we've seen some three round burst version of this gun in the past so it might be similar to that then we have the gp13 auto the lock 30 the lock 45 which is pretty much the usp 45 then we have the lock 9 then we have the Sikov, which is very similar to the Makarov we saw back in Black Ops 1, so it's cool to see that returning. And then finally for the pistols, we have the TAC handheld, which is apparently going to be very similar to the 5.7, which was one of the best pistols in Black Ops 2. Moving on down to the launchers, we have the LAW, which is pretty much going to be the M72 LAW we saw back in BO1. Then we're going to have the Panzerfaust, which was actually used back in World War II a lot, but it looks like it's going to be returning for Black Ops 6. And then we have the Stinger, which is probably going to be our basic lock-on launcher. Then moving on down, we actually have three melee weapons. We have the breaching tool, the hunting knife, and the scout knife. I'm sure this is going to be similar to MW3 where each melee weapon kind of has its own running speed with it. So you actually get a different experience with each melee weapon. And it looks like the melee weapons are going to have their own section in the creator class, similar to how it was back in Call of Duty 4 Remastered, where you could pick your melee weapon and it's not going to take the slot of a secondary weapon. So I'm sure we're going to have some sort of toggle button where you can hold it down and then you're going to be holding the melee weapon, but you're also 
also still going to have access to both your secondary and your primary weapons as well. So I'm sure we are probably still going to have some camo challenges for our melee weapons this year. But there you have it. That is all 54 weapons that are leaked to be in Black Ops 6. Like I said, this amount of weapons could make for an awesome camo grind, especially since we know that this year we won't have an XP cap. So the XP you earn from unlocking camos will actually be going toward prestigious instead of being wasted with a level cap. So let me know if you're excited about the leaked amount of weapons we are going to have in Black Ops 6. Let me know what your favorite is, what you're most looking forward to. And let me know if there's anything that's not on this list that you do want to see in Black Ops 6 potentially. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Leave a like rating and subscribe for more Call of Duty and first person shooter content. Hope you guys all have a blessed day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.